Most people think Excel is for making spreadsheets. And most people are wrong. Excel is a game engine where you can host a cast of characters going on quests, fighting monsters, and obtaining sweet, sweet loot. Let's take it from the beginning. All right, to do this right, I think we're gonna need some classes, some quests, and some form of combat. Yo, office. Hello, father. All right, first things first, we need to set up a viewport. And we're gonna do that pixel by pixel because I enjoy pain, apparently. All right, there we go. All right, hear me out. The way we're gonna handle movement is by having a root pixel that all the other pixels for the character drawn around. That way, I only need to keep track of one pixel's position, and the rest will take care of itself during the draw call. If that doesn't make sense, that's okay, I barely ever understand what I'm saying. This line of code right here specifies a location relative to the root and fills it with a certain color. Meaning, I'm gonna have to type this out like 500 times. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, let's make sure this whole concept actually works before we go any further. Okay. Couple things, drawing per frame is too much, so we need to do it only when a key is pressed. Second, drawing each pixel is really slow, so we need to figure out something better than that. And lastly, we've got this scary ass wizard slug, so we need to clear the canvas when he moves so that doesn't happen anymore. Okay, we're doing better, but he gets drawn like a printer. I've tried about a million different things to fix it, and I can't. Also, if you go too far to the right, he can escape the viewport, which is kind of terrifying. Really terrifying. All right. This is the best I can do. I alternated the rows that are drawn so it looks a bit smoother and the arms are drawn last. So it kind of looks like a scuffed walk animation. I'll take it. So I read a little bit of the documentation and I know it's possible to do pop-ups, but I'm not really sure how. But I feel like that'd be really cool for like the class select screen and battles and everything. So I'm gonna try to figure that out. Oh no. To do pop-ups, I gotta do something with web packs. She's like way out of my realm. So I think I've got to create a webpack plugin like these. I've got to add it to this entry area too, it looks like. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna break this whole project. Oh, oh no. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. I forgot to create the actual pop-up HTML and JavaScript is trying to access. Yes, it's finally working. <laughs> that was weird. All right, class select is good enough for now. Let's create the rest of the classes. Okay, our three classes are finally done. The amount of lines of code just to create these three characters is honestly disgusting. We have a background now. Don't ask how. It's just, it's here now. Please stop asking questions. Luckily, since the boss is only gonna appear in the pop-up, I can create it in Photoshop and stop coding it pixel by pixel. Boss man is looking good, but before we can fight him, we need to get a quest. All right. We've got our NPC Benny here now. To make a new dialog box, I should just be able to copy this function, right? It's not working. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to go back to the webpack config, aren't we? All right, this is fine. I can, I can do this, sweet, it's working. So what I've concluded from today's activities, which I probably would've figured out a lot sooner if I just Googled it, is that webpack pretty much just runs a bunch of sites on your local host. Now you can have a nice little conversation with Benny about his imp problem. We'll just add another webpack for the battle quick. All right, we got three options. You can heal, you can fireball, you can flee. But I'm not actually gonna program flee because we never run from a fight. Plan is, Knight Sword's gonna deal two damage. Archer's arrow, two damage. The wizard staff, you guessed it, three damage. Because wizards are cool. I like wizards. Oh yeah, that looks so good. I love it. While I was at it, I actually added this game over screen because he's actually kind of hard to beat. Now we just gotta add a way to actually complete the quest and then we should be good. Now, when you beat the boss, we can head back to Benny and get a $10 Starbucks gift card. A reward I would be extremely happy to receive. I have to say, this is definitely my favorite Microsoft Office project so far. This method of doing things is actually pretty scalable and I could have done way more if I didn't have to get this video out in a reasonable amount of time. You can access the source code for this game and my other Microsoft Office games by supporting me on Patreon. Special thanks to Grant and Heather who are supporting already. Discord is in the description as usual and be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See ya.